A, just a quick video to show you how to use an AI program to find out who did or didn't follow you back on Instagram and help you clean up your account. Now, Instagram does not make this easy. If we go over and we look at people that we're following, uh, there's nothing to denote who followed you or didn't follow you back. And Instagram doesn't make this easy because they don't allow you to use third-party software. So what we're going to do is we're going to cheat. So the first thing we're going to do is select all text. On a PC, I would do that by hitting Control A. You can use whatever the comparable keys are on a Macintosh or even a phone. And I have found that if you scroll to the bottom of the list, uh, that's also helpful just to make sure that everybody was highlighted. At this point, we're just going to copy. So you can right click and click on copy, or you can also hit just Control C for copy as well. So this is a list of people that we are following. So let's zip over to a word processor. You can use any word processor, and we will just paste that in place. So here we go. Paste. So here's all the people that we're following. Now, it's a messy list because, of course, we captured all kinds of text, which isn't part of the list. But the AI is smart, and it's going to clean that up for us. So we will go ahead and let's save this file. And we will do Save As. And we will call this um, Following. I have it listed here as Followers. So let's go Following. And let's go ahead and save following. And we want to replace the file. And at this point, we can delete it because we have saved it to the disk. Now, you actually can simply cut and paste that list of names directly into the AI if you'd like. But a lot of the AIs have smaller windows. And this account that I set up is just a quickie for the video. So I'm sure that like my other accounts, you're going to have a lot more than 22 followers. Uh, but I thought this would be handy for us. There's no posts or anything on this account, just to streamline things. So we've now saved our list of people that uh, we are following. Let's go over to our followers list. We'll do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and select all the text. We're going to scroll to the bottom to make sure it all did get selected. We are going to copy it. And we will copy it into the word processor. And this time we're going to save it. File save as. As we just saved following. So we will save this as followers. Okay. Very good. And yes, we're going to replace the one that I already experimented to make sure this would work for you with. So let's head on over to our AI. So I'm just using ChatGPT. Any of the AIs should work as long as they allow you to upload a text file. And let's go ahead and we will upload those two text files to the AI. All these AIs are temporarily free right now. Or if you have to pay for them, they're like 20 bucks a month, which is so worth it. They're absolutely amazing. So upload from computer. We're going to go to our, I put those in the download directory. And there we go, followers and following. And we will say open. And it looks like it's going to happily open those. Now we need a prompt. We have to tell the AI what we would like it to do with our two lists. So you can write a very complicated prompt if you'd like and have it do a really good cleanup job. But let's just do the simplest one possible. And we'll say, please create a list of all the names that appear on the list following, but do not on the appear on, on the list of followers. So that'll tell us who didn't follow us back. So I'm just going to cut and paste that prompt into ChatGPT. And we will hit the entry arrow. And ChatGPT will go to work. It will analyze. This is another reason that I made a, a real small account is it actually can take it a while to analyze and clean up both lists if you've got several hundred names or several thousand names in your list. And kaboom, we get a list. These are people who I followed but who did not follow me back. So I can simply cut those. Oops, let's do a better job than that. And I'm going to put those in the word processor now. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize the, not minimize, but I'm going to make the word processor small enough that we can see two things at the same time here. And we will head back to the Instagram account. And so all I need to do now, let's go ahead and do the same thing with the Instagram account, is now I can compare lists. So this part you still need to do manually, but it's very, very fast. So now I simply go to people who I am following. I look at my list of people who didn't follow me back. Let's confirm it. So I will say Catherine. Catherine did not follow me back. There she is. Usually you just have to type in the first few letters. And I will go over here to where it says following and click on that. And then I can unfollow Catherine. So what this allows me to do is it allows me to go through. And actually I don't know who Catherine is. So I'll leave her in here for now. 
But what this allows you to do is to just quickly, with a couple of clicks, go through your list of people that uh, you are following and trim out any of them that didn't follow you back or keep them if they're a celebrity and you didn't expect them to call you back. So that's the simplest way that I know of to get around the fact that Instagram doesn't allow you to use third-party software, and yet you can use an online AI to get this done in a really short period of time. You can go through several hundred names and clean up your Instagram list. (music) 